In this video, we'll talk about pivot tables. Pivot tables are a great way to take a lot of information and then start summarizing it. It's a great feature in Excel to really kind of categorize information and, and use that again to summarize whatever, whatever information you might want to look at. So in this data set, we have quite a bit of information about order number, customer number, you know, quantity, their name, their gender, and their city. So to start, we'll add in the pivot table. So one thing initially that we want to make sure that we do with our pivot table is we select a cell that's within our data set. The pivot table then, when we go to insert it, will select all the information that's connected to it. However, if we have an empty column between our data or an empty row between our data, our pivot table will recognize that as it's only going to select the data in that table that's connected to each other. So we want to make sure we don't have any completely empty columns or any completely empty rows. For this data set, we don't, so we can go ahead and start. Since I've selected a cell within my data, then I will go to insert and then pivot table. It is going to go ahead and recognize all the information again that's continuous, that's connected. And in this case, it's a personal preference. Rather than going to a no, new worksheet, I will go within the existing worksheet and then I'll select a cell that's over to the side of it. So in my case, I'm selecting cell N1. And then I will select OK. I'm going to scroll over a little bit. So this is our pivot table. In this case, it's pivot table 11 for me because it's the 11th pivot table that I've created since I have had Excel open. If you've just opened up Excel, yours should say pivot table 1 and it will continue numbering your pivot tables, which is very useful, and we'll discuss that later in the course, because oftentimes you're going to want to pull information from one table to another, and we can call it directly from the name of that pivot table. Over to the right, I have the options then of selecting the data that I want to pull into my pivot table. I'm going to start with the column information. So depending on how I want to set up my pivot table, I can select the information that I want to show in column and then also in rows. And then I can also filter that information. To do this, I can drag and drop the information. So for example, maybe I want information on country and I want that in my rows. I can select that and drag it down or I could have clicked on it. And now I'm getting information on all of my customers based on the country that they're ordering from. Perhaps I want information on the gender. And in this example, I'm going to just click that. And it has added that information down here in my rows. But maybe I wanted that in a column. This is what's great about pivot tables is that I could either click on it and I could remove it. I could remove the field. I could move it to values, I could move it to columns, or I can just select it and drag it over to where I want it. So as you're working with pivot tables, I encourage you to play around with them. If you don't like something, then you could either delete it or just drag it to where you want that to go. Um, pivot tables are very forgiving, and you can change whatever information you want very quickly. So maybe I also want information on quantity. I selected that and it added it to my values. Now I have information on the country, how many females purchase products. So this is the sum of the quantities. So it's finding all of the sales from Argentina and that adding together all of the quantities that were ordered from those customers. In this case, no males from Argentina bought, bought products. So my grand total is the sum of each of those, and it's 105. Whereas we can see from Australia, we had 109 items purchased from females, 39 purchased from males. 
So 148 total. Let's say instead of the sum of the quantity, the other great feature about pivot tables is that I can change what my value is. Instead of sum, I can change my value field settings and I could add count, average, max, min. I could do a multiplication, standard deviation, variance, lots of other features. So in this case, let's say I want to get the average number of items purchased. I'll change that and it automatically changes the title of my pivot table as well to average of quantity. So now on average, females purchased 18.17 items and males purchased 19.5 items. So easy way to go through and change things and if I wanted to go back to the sum or change it, I could go back to value field settings. So quite a few options. Perhaps now instead of looking at the quantity, maybe I want to delete that. So I'm going to remove that field and I want to look at total cost. So I'll select that and very easily it changes it to the total cost. And instead of gender, as a column, maybe I want to add that as a filter. I can drag that over and I can add a filter now. At the top, it's, in, it's providing information on everyone, but now let's say I want to only have information on females. I'm going to select that and it's going to update my information only for females that have purchased products. Pivot tables are great because once you play around with them, they're very, very easy to use. If you make a mistake, it's very easy to change it, go back to what you had, delete what you have, start over. But to me, one of the biggest benefits is when you're presenting this information to anyone within your organization, it's very easy then to figure out what my filters might be. So perhaps I'm presenting to the C-suite and we're trying to understand our market demographics. I can go through and I can add various filters and at the click of a button, I can change the output very easily and we can see what's happening, whether it's based off of the location or region that our customers are buying our products, age ranges, genders, whatever it might be. I can very quickly do that analysis and have my answers when I'm presenting information rather than having to go back and do a, a lot of additional work with, with various spreadsheets. So again, pivot tables are a great way to summarize our information and present it quickly and easily and change things very easily as well.